Okay. So, so many times when you are in a relationship, you don't know the kind of questions you should ask. Which for me, I think it should come natural. But since we are in the world where a lot of people tend to be confused because they are being carried about or carried away by so many things. So those questions doesn't come to mind quickly. Here are some questions, in fact, questions for you. Whether you are a man or a woman, whether you are a boy or you are a girl, you are going to a relationship, ask these critical questions. Number one is, how well do you know this person? How well do you know this person? As in, what is his background? So the question would be, where are you from? Who are you? That is the right question to ask. Can I get to know you? And you will start from there. Question two would be, are you willing to count the costs? Now that you have known me, I have known you. Do you think it is worth taking a step with me? Do you think you can do this with me? His friends, who are her friends? Do you know them? Can I get to meet your friends? What kind of friends do you keep? Do you know them? Is he the kind of person that keeps friends, but you don't know them? Their friends doesn't even know you. Is she the kind of person that have a lot of friends and you, you don't know them? What does he discuss with them? What does she discuss with them? Who are your friends, sir? Who are your friends, ma? Can I get to meet them? Number four, how much influence does his or her parents have on him or her? How much influence does he listen to the parents? Does she listen to her parents? Does he have to consult the parents for everything? Does she have to consult her parents for everything? How much influence do you have from your parents? Or you may want to put it in a coded way. How close are you with your parents? That is the way to put the question. Do you have, what's your relationship with your parents? Number five, do you know and love his or her passion? Do you know his passion, her passion? If you know, do you love it? Apart from being a banker, apart from being a lawyer, apart from being a doctor, apart from being, you know, these uh, professions, there are things that he loves. So if he is not doing these other ones that I mentioned, if she's not doing these other ones that I mentioned, she wants to go for her passion. Maybe sewing, maybe makeup, maybe an artist drawing and all of that. Do you love it? Because it will take you to love it before you can support. Does he love your passion? Does she love your passion? What are those passions? Number six, does he or she accept and take responsibilities for his or her action? Or is he the type of person that shifts blame? Is she the type of person is he the type of person that shifts blame? You know that. Number seven, what language does he or she speak? Does he always say, I, me, myself, and I? Or we, us, and ours? That kind of question, you also know the way to put it. Number eight, does he or she have a matching actions with his words? Does his words match his action? Does her words match her action? So you find out whether he is truthful or a liar. She's truthful or a liar. Number 10, how does he or she treat and introduce you in the public? How does he or she treat or introduce you in the public? Meet, meet okay, God, a colleague, a friend. Meet Jimmy, a friend, a colleague, my neighbor. How does he or she introduce you in the public? And when I say public, I mean people that are close to you, either your friends, your relative, you know, anybody that has to do with you. That is the public I mean, I don't mean in the marketplace. 
Do you understand? Then, number 11, is he or she open and transparent with you? Is he or she open and transparent with you? You need to answer that question. Number 12, how much priority does he place on you? How much priority does she place on you? Are you number 10 in the scale of preference? In his scale of preference? In her scale of preference? Or you are number 1? Or you are an afterthought? So these are the questions. You must sincerely answer before proposing to her and before you accepting his proposal. And if you are able to answer all of these questions to yourself, within yourself, then you are good to go. Wishing you success and good luck.